I've been going through a whole bunch of my childhood, like elementary school projects the last few weeks because I've been helping my mom clear out her house and she literally, I kid you not, kept everything. I have art projects and all kinds of stuff from every single grade. <laughs> and what's really interesting in looking over that is that I don't think I had very specific goals. I was a kid, but it's really interesting because a lot of them were really detailed, but not finished. So I took on too much. I didn't get enough training for it. I didn't set specific goals or time deadlines. And so I gave up, which can also create a negative pattern for you psychologically. Welcome to Launch It, the podcast maestro, your gateway to becoming a thought leader in your field. Dive into the world of elite podcasting and master the art of influence and inspiration. And now, podcast personality, award-winning author and actress, Anne Scotland. Welcome, welcome back to Launch at the Podcast Maestro. I am Anne Scotland, and today we're diving into the ultimate checklist to launch your podcast like a pro. Are you ready to turn your podcast dreams ding, ding, into reality? Hopefully we'll have a bell later to remind you of that, but we'll see if I can get the effects right. But let's get started. Today's episode is going to give you a comprehensive 10 point checklist for launching a successful podcast. Now, the real beauty of this is that this is the culmination of my entire series called the Podcast Power Playbook. And this checklist is the grand finale. So by the end of this episode, you'll have the blueprint to lodge a podcast that not only stands out, but also captivates your audience right from day one. And as a bonus, stay tuned to the end because you will have a PDF that you can use, print out an actual check sheet. I love check sheets. Some people don't. I do. I like checking off those boxes. But before we get started, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, copy and paste this link on whatever platform you are watching on or listening today. Send it to a friend who might love to hang out with us for a few minutes and learn more about podcasting and how to have a world-class podcast which is what this show is all about. When you approach podcasting with a professional, a professional outlook and tools designed specifically to make you world-class, to stand out on a global level, then you have the opportunity to really move yourself to the top of the list. You have the opportunity to stage yourself as a thought leader in your field. And who doesn't want to do that? If you're an expert already, why not share that with the world? If you're already an expert locally, why not go globally? So we are going to do this checklist. It's going to go fast. If you happen to have a pen and pencil and you want to jot these down, because I'm always bound to say something that you're not going to get in the checklist at the end. Uh, so feel free to do that. So our 10 part list, ultimate podcast launch for checkbox number one. And again, this is in review. So for checkbox number one, create a clear and focused niche. Have you ever had that moment when you realized you were fascinated about something that other people found unusual or unique? That's a niche. I've had my fair share of those actually. I could have niched in so many ways. The hard part, I guess, was really picking. One of mine is women authors in medieval history. That's not a niche. If it's not, I don't know what is. Uh, that is what I wrote my dissertation on, which was uh, women authors in England, five during medieval times from 1300 to through the 1600s. So there weren't very many, but I could have a podcast about that because I know a lot about that. And it's something that only a few people know about. A lot of people are interested in history and a lot of people might listen to a podcast about that, which they might someday, which might also go with my book. <laughs> but having a niche helps you stand out. It's better, as I've said before, to have 10,000 dedicated followers than a million who are just numbers and are not dedicated, never buy your products or services and um, basically are just fake numbers. So. So focused niche, we give examples during the um, podcast power playbook of things like the daily, the, the podcast by the New York Times, which found massive success just by focusing on those in-depth daily news coverages, the, not the headlines, but getting really in-depth on a topic or two, really diving in deep. 
no one was doing that in podcasts at the time. Uh, not like that and not consistently, not daily. So they really set themselves apart. So for this one, number one, checkbox number one, here are your action steps. Identify what makes your podcast unique. Tailor your content for a specific audience segment so you get the maximum impact. And again, if you want to hear all of that in detail again, go see Podcast Power Play episode, How to Dominate Your Niche. How to Dominate Your Niche, listen to or watch that. It should be just a few episodes back. For checkbox number two, know your audience. As an actress, knowing your audience by suggestions they throw out at improv events is kind of a big deal. If you haven't been trained in improv, that means you stand up front, you ask people to throw out some ideas for you, and then you and your team just go by the seat of your pants, using secret formulas, of course, to entertain and make up the stories that you go as you go. Improvisation, right? And you depend on the audience to throw those out to you. And also you're depending on the audience to give you the reactions. Like, are they enjoying the direction you're taking? And if you're not getting the applause, should you kind of curve back around? So really understanding your audience is key. And in podcasting, it's understanding your video or viewer demographics, not just demographics, your psychographics, their listening or viewing habits. What are the specific goals and challenges of your average audience member? And how can you most more clearly address those? So here are your action steps for checkbox number two, which is know your audience. Create listener personas to guide your content and to guide your marketing strategies and engage with your potential listeners if you haven't started your podcast yet through surveys, through social media. And again, you can hear more on that if you go back to those episodes. For checkbox number three, set very specific goals. <laughs> I've been going through a whole bunch of my childhood, like elementary school projects the last few weeks because I've been helping my mom clear out her house and she literally. I kid you not, kept everything. I have art projects and all kinds of stuff from every single grade. <laughs> and what's really interesting in looking over that is that I don't think I had very specific goals. I was a kid, but it's really interesting because a lot of them were really detailed, but not finished. So I took on too much. I didn't get enough training for it. I didn't set specific goals or time deadlines, and so I gave up, which can also create a negative pattern for you psychologically, which could also happen in podcasting. So set very specific goals. Align your goals with what you consider your success is. So here are your action steps. Define what success looks like for your podcast specifically, and set those short-term goals, mid-term goals, long-term goals, such as audience size or your revenue milestones, and consistently be reevaluating. Your podcast is a living, breathing thing. It is not static. It is not one and done. You have to constantly be reading your audience if you want to keep them and get a bigger audience. For checkbox number four, ding. Okay, building a strong brand. Oh my gosh, I do a whole workshop just on this. Consistent branding across all your platforms, not just your podcast. Uh, I talked about in the series about NPRs, how I built this, right? Having that recognizable brand voice, having a visual identity that really resonates with its viewers and listeners specifically. You can go back and hear more on that. But to craft your brand identity, here are your action steps. Develop a clear mission statement Oh, but Anne's just a podcast, for goodness sake. Doesn't matter. You should have one. Your business should have one. And your podcast should have one. Develop a clear mission statement. Ensure your podcast's visual elements, like your logos, your cover art, reflect your overall brand identity. That's all I'm going to say. Go back and listen to more uh, in the playbook. And um, there is so much more meat to dive into there. And like I said, I do a whole workshop on this. For checkbox number five, develop engaging content. This is so much fun because using strong storytelling techniques is one of the really important parts of having an amazing podcast. Emphasize the power of storytelling. It really engages your listeners. And if, if you need stories, which is usually what clients say to me, I don't have any stories. What am I supposed to talk about that's interesting for a lot of people? Guess what? 
do interesting things. <laughs> to quote uh, Ira Glass on This American Life podcast, of course, he said, great stories happen to those who can tell them. Mm, great stories happen to those who can tell them. So if you start telling them, more great stories will happen. So get into the habit of doing fun things, be different, live outside your comfort zone. You will always have stories. You can ask my girlfriends. I constantly create stories wherever I go. I won't call it havoc or drama, more just stuff happens. I can't even tell you. It makes life very exciting. So for developing engaging content, here are your action steps. One, plan episodes with a narrative arc, your hook, your line, your sinker. Don't have time to go into all that right now. And go back and check out the Podcast Power Playbook episode called Podcast Perfection, Crafting the Ultimate Hook, Line, and Sinker. That should answer your questions right there. For checkbox number six, select the right equipment. It sounds so simple. It sounds obvious, and yet it can make or break your show. So invest in a good microphone. Invest in good lighting and background if you have a video podcast. Uh, and also watch another or listen to one of my other recent episodes um, on Launch It here, the podcast Maestro, uh, which was called Audio Mic 101, helping you find your perfect podcast voice. The good news is there that budget-friendly options exist. Even top podcasters often start with minimal setups. So go check it out. Find the budget that works for you and get the best for your buck, uh, even if, uh, if money is an object. If money is not an object. I can make you sing like a canary. Isn't that something like tell the truth? Yeah, no, that's not right. But I can get you the best pipe, the best mics money can buy if that's something that you really want to. Moving on. Almost nearing the end already. For checkbox number seven, master the audio setup. This is really important. Editing and production is something that you have to get familiar with if you're going to have a podcast and especially if you're going to have a video podcast. You under, need to understand that importance of using editing software to really enhance your audio quality. Um, look at tools, beginner-friendly tools if you're new like Audacity and GarageBand and learn those basic editing techniques. There's tons of online tutorials. There's lots of things that I teach. You can experiment with sound effects and music to add depth to your episodes. So those are some of your action steps. We only have two more check boxes, but first we're gonna take a really quick break. Stay here, please like, subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate it, it means a lot to me, and we'll be right back. Picture this, you have worked your whole life to become an expert, a leader, a change maker, but you're so busy, most people will never discover you to recognize your work. Anne Scotland, founder of Podcast Maestro, understands this challenge. With a decade of Hollywood experience, and a proven track record as a business coach, and turns seasoned professionals into thought leaders through the art of podcasting. Podcast Maestro offers plug and play services, handling everything from pre-production to distribution, so you can focus on your message while Anne and her team manage the rest. Leverage Anne's Hollywood production knowledge, strategic business insight, and social media expertise to amplify your reach and impact. If you're ready to elevate your voice, connect with Anne Scotland at Podcast Maestro and begin your podcast journey today. Welcome back for the last two points of our episode today in the culmination of the podcast Power Playbook series that I've been doing. And today it's the checklist, the 10 top things you should do to have a successful podcast launch. And we're already at number eight. For checkbox number eight, choose your hosting platform. It may sound obvious, but choosing, having a criteria for choosing your service is actually really important. Do you know the difference between Libsyn versus Anchor versus Podbean and what their pros and cons are, whether you're doing audio or video, what is their features and pricing, et cetera? So to choose your best hosting platform for your show, here's your action steps. Research and choose a host that really aligns with your podcast needs. Don't try to use what someone else necessarily said you should. Do the research yourself and ensure that that platform really provides you super important here, robust analytics and really strong distribution options. You can learn more by going back and listening to Podcast Power Playbook. Checkbox number nine, leverage social media to position your podcast. This is how you launch with a bang. Social media increases podcast visibility by 
60%, that's what Buffer says, but I would say it, especially if you're new, we're talking closer to 90% because if you're new, you're still just getting the message out that you have a podcast and the role of your strong social media presence can literally make or break how quickly your podcast grows, what kind of reception you get, what kind of feedback you're getting. So here are your action steps to leverage social media, to position your podcast, build anticipation with teaser content, learn from me, learn from others, how to do that on a consistent basis, how to post in levels of interest to get people hooked, how to have enough personal content to make them feel like you're accessible and human, but also enough professional content to keep them coming back, knowing they're going to get the same quality uh, information that they come specifically to your show for. And engage with potential listeners through, even if you haven't started your podcast yet, do live Q&As, do free sessions, do free giveaways, uh, take a poll, find out what it is that they want and what they respond to most on social media. You can do A-B testing if you know what that is. If not, come back and listen more. <laughs> Lastly, number 10 out of 10 for checkbox number 10, post-launch growth strategies. Well, people are like, well, wait, this isn't launching, but honestly, the post-launch period can often be even more important than the preparation period. The, the initial launching is fun. It's exciting. It takes a lot of research and preparation, but a lot of times that's where people stop with their creative energy, with their curiosity, with their idea that they can make this a really amazing show. You have to use analytics and feedback. This is the number one thing you need to remember as your podcast grows. Analytics and listener feedback are your biggest payoff in the early days of your podcast. So here are your action steps for post-launch growth strategies monitor key metrics like downloads, like listener retention, and continuously improve content based on feedback from your viewers and listeners, and specifically also from those analytics, the insights that come directly from the platforms you are broadcasting on. That is it. You have now the ultimate podcast launch checklist. And as I promised, you can either hop on the website if it's already there, or you can just email me directly to get your own personal checklist PDF that you can use for uh, launching your podcast with these top 10 steps to set you up for success from the beginning. Don't learn the hard way. Do it right for the first time and have a lot of fun doing it. So email me, contact at annscotland.com. If you're listening, my name is A-N-N-E-S-C-O-T-T-L-I-N, Anne Scotland, at um, contact at annscotland.com. Or go to my website, annscotland.com. And uh, you can also find uh, where you can uh, enter your email and have me send you your checklist there. Wow, the end of Podcast Power Playbook, but not the end of what we have to talk about. And then our next episode is actually going to be really fun, Podcasting Mythbusters, the truth behind common podcasting beliefs. We're going to break them apart because I don't want you to learn the hard way. I want you to learn from those of us who learned the hard way so you don't have to. Again, please follow the links here and um, and, and send this this link to whoever might enjoy hanging out with us who would like to learn more about podcasting, how to have a world-class podcast, how to launch it, and how to do it smart. Not harder, but smarter. And last of all, just remember launching a podcast is just the beginning with the right tools, with the right mindset. You can turn your passion into a thriving podcast like this one. Until next time, happy podcasting. Join us every week streaming right here on the same platform, same day, same time. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.